Hello, welcome. This uh, video will cover uh, question number five of uh, Freshman Mathematics, which is found on page 11 of uh, the module. And uh, the question says, which of the following implies that P or Q is given that A is given? We need to prove or check, okay? We need to prove or check whether P or Q is false. So the requirement is that you have to check P or Q is false. What is given? Uh, A to E. So the information given here in this question is you have to use the conditions given from A to E and show that P or Q is false. So this is the question. So we'll continue on part A. You can see negation of P or negation of Q is false. Does this one, does this condition allow us to conclude that P or Q is false? So what do you have to check? We need to check if P or Q is false. So we have to see if P or Q is false. So we'll start from the given information as usual. What is given? Negation of P or negation of Q is false. So here we have a connective which is disjunction. So disjunction will be false whenever both negation of P and negation of Q are false. Are false. Okay. This is direct from the rule of disjunction. So this means if negation of P is false. So if negation of P is false, what do we have? P is true. And also if negation of Q is false, Q is true. So this means what what was required? The required information is this one. Does does negation of P or negation of Q being false implies that P or Q is false. Now you have uh, reached at a point a conclusion that P or Q because both are true, this will be true or true, which is equivalent to true. So, but the question was to check whether the given condition is false so that the given, uh, we conclude that, we conclude that because we have already uh, obtained true, so, provided that the negation of P, therefore, the negation of P or negation of Q being false, okay, being false, he false mono doesn't imply that P or Q is false because we have obtained true. So, we conclude A doesn't imply the result. So, part B, it is given that negation of P or Q being true being true, does it imply that P or Q is false? That P or Q is false okay this is a question okay the condition is here so this is negation of p or q it is distinction here so in general can we say that can we say that p or q is false whenever whenever negation of p or q is true so for example if we take as an example okay let's take that the first negation of p or q is equivalent to true let's assume assume the first one is false and the second one is true or otherwise let's assume that negation of p is true and q is false so true or false is true so we have so this implies p is true and q is false so p is true q is false we'll come to here p or q what do you have p or q is equivalent to p is true and q is false so what do we have here by the law of uh, disjunction we have true true statement so this fails to also hold that whenever negation of p or q is true it doesn't imply p or q is false there may be another alternative that this may be true but in this case we can not generalize that the negation of p or q being true doesn't imply that p or q is false so question number three c let's uh, the same uh, question number five part c the negation of p and negation of q being true doesn't imply that q or q is false the negation of p and negation of q is given as a condition okay the negation of part c the negation of p and negation of q being true okay being true does it imply that p or q is false this is a question so we will also again use the property of disjunction and the property of conjunction okay given that here the negation of p and negation of q is true as you remember conjunction will be true 
whenever both are true so having this means negation of p is true and also negation of q is true so the same if the negation of p is true then p is false also if negation of q is true q is false so now we will come to so from here we conclude p or q is having a truth value false or false because both q and p are false from the given information so false or false is false so it has provided us that whenever negation of p and and negation of q is true it implies it implies that p or q is false so we have shown you can also in other way you can show you can see that the given information is the negation of p the given information is the negation of p and negation of q this is is true so remember that this one is true and also it is negation of p and negation of q can be written as the negation of p or q by what by the morgan's law so you see that this is true the left side is true okay so the negation of some statement is true means this statement is false Negation of P and Q is true. The left side is true. The negation of something is true means directly you can uh, conclude that the negation of false only be true. So this means here P or Q is false. In general, if the negation of P and the negation of Q is true, so P or Q is false. So I will recommend part D of patient number five. Okay, part D and part E to do it same way. Thank you for watching.